Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you're coming across an issue on Windows 11 where it says with Windows Hello Face that the option is currently unavailable. Click to learn more. We couldn't find a camera compatible with Windows Hello Face. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing we're going to do is open up the search menu, type in settings, best match, so come back with settings, go ahead and open that up. On the left panel here, go ahead and select privacy and security. On the right side, you want to scroll down underneath app permissions, so you've got to keep scrolling down, and select camera. Make sure camera access is turned on, as well as for underneath where it says let apps access your camera. Make sure they are turned on here for just about everything, unless there's specific apps you don't want them turned on for. The biggest thing here is that you'd want to make sure it's turned on for camera, as well as the master setting is turned on to make sure both of the top options here are toggled on. Unless you have other apps in here that might come before the letter C, which in that case that camera would not be the first item in this list, of course, because it's alphabetical. And I would check that and then attempt to activate or turn on the Windows Hello Face feature. And hopefully I should have been able to resolve the problem. If you are still having a problem, make sure your camera, if it's an external camera, is plugged in properly. You may want to consider plugging into a different USB port and make sure it's plugged in securely. You may also want to just try a different camera, make sure that the drivers are up to date. So if there are any CDs that maybe came with the camera, or if you go on Google and onto the manufacturer's website, they usually have installation drivers and different services that are available that will download to your computer and actually just update and make sure all of your hardware is fully compatible with your system. Something else we can try, like I said, I would recommend doing that before we go into device manager here. So I'm actually going to open up device manager, like I said, but I would suggest going directly onto the manufacturer's support page and locating the drivers directly from their site. But we can go ahead and actually try and reset or reinstall or update them through Device Manager here as well, or at least attempt to if Windows is able to detect it. If Windows can't detect the camera attached to your computer, I really don't know what to tell you in here. There's really nothing that's going to help you on the Device Manager page. But, you know, it's worth a shot, though. So you may want to, if you don't see it in this list, select the View tab, and where it says Show Hidden Devices, just go ahead and select that. It may show up for the camera in here. I don't have a camera attached to the computer, so I can't directly show the camera item, but I can basically show you the exact same steps you would go through. So let's just go underneath Bluetooth for this example here. And again, you would go underneath camera in your case. You'd right click on the driver listed under here and you would select update driver. You would select browse my computer for drivers and then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. You would select the driver listed on this page that would be showing up underneath compatible hardware select next and then close out of here. I would just restart your computer at this time. And there you go, guys. Hopefully that was able to help resolve your problem. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.